I'm losing two thirds of my income, yet it's the best decision that I can make. Hey everyone, Arielle Patrice here. If you're new, hello, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for staying. <laughs> so you read the title right. I have quit my full-time job to focus on my part-time one. And for my full-time job, I was a school psychologist. And for my part-time job, I have a private practice as a licensed professional counselor. And I've had my private practice since about 2019, but it's strictly been part-time because I've always done school psychologist or a LPC in a clinic setting or a school setting. And that's always been my full-time income. And this is the first time in, I'm not even kidding, literally like a decade where I'm going to have one job. And that is not a flex. I am a recovering workaholic. Um, and so this is going to be very, very new to me. And first I want to say like, this is the best decision I feel like I could make, but it's also very scary. My reason behind quitting my full-time job to focus on my part-time job, I want to make my private practice my main source of income. And while being a school psychologist and being a licensed professional counselor and having both working in the schools and then doing my private practice, I was averaging about 65 to 70 hours a week. So I was exhausted. And um, I didn't want to do that anymore. And so when school ended and school ended for us last week, that was it. <laughs> um, and luckily, I because it's a school, you still get paid in the summertime. And so I will be able to have that income for June and for July, and it will stop in August. And so I'm hoping that that's going to give me a little bit of time to build up my private practice to be able to have a little bit more clients by August. But what that means is I am literally losing two thirds of my income once August hits. And that's very scary <laughs> um, because there's no way, there's no way I'm going to be able to make up that other two thirds by August, realistically, I don't believe so, but I will get there eventually. And this decision was strictly based on where I wanna be in life and my mental health and work-life balance. Obviously, the biggest down of this decision is financial, but I am not somebody who believes that more money means staying at the sake of your exhaustion and your mental health. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely loved my job as a school psychologist. I love the people I worked with. I'm still going to contract with that school or with those districts because it's a co-op. It was with four different school districts, but that will no longer be my full-time job. So if they ever need me, I'm there to do evaluations or counseling or what say you. And this wasn't news to my boss. When I got hired on, I let him know that my ideal goal was to be strictly in private practice. And he knew that. And I've been there for four years and I was going to give him five years. And he knew that as well. However, doing 65 to 70 hours a week for four years was enough for me to be like, I don't think I want to do that another year. And he was okay with that. I am nervous about the transition, but I'm more excited than anything. I don't sleep very well, so this is going to be a positive for that. Um, it's going to teach me to really sit in relaxation since I'm not used to that. And um, I'll be able to hang out with my friends more, see my family more. I don't really share a whole bunch of personal stuff on here, but my mom has been the, grace, the greatest help. And so I think that this will be a beautiful opportunity for me to spend a lot more time with her because she has moved in my location as of almost a year ago. And so 
that has been a blessing in itself, but I think that this will give me an opportunity to really spend quality time with her too. With my private practice, I do plan to just see roughly between 20 and 25 clients a week and call it a day. Uh, so a huge difference. That means probably anywhere from 30 to 35 hours a week. And I'm not used to that, but I can get used to that. <laughs> So I think what that means for videos, as far as they go on this channel, I'll make some videos of updates of how my practice is doing, and I'll continue to make videos on my physical and mental health help uh, with my exercise and with my eating, and just keep y'all updated on how I'm doing with all of my fat loss and with my private practice business. I won't be sharing any therapy or counseling tips on this channel. I already have another channel for that called Therapy Conversations. So if that's something that you want to check out, shameless plug, you can look over there on that um, channel. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and let you know the big changes that are happening in my life. And I am scared, but I am more excited. And I'm not somebody who spends a lot of money anyway so the pay cut is huge and I'm going to have to make some slight adjustments on various things that I pay for but I was fortunate enough to be able to save and this just means I won't be able to do that for a little bit but I'll still be able to afford the things that I need to afford and I'm all about being open and direct. So I'm thinking I'll probably start off with paying myself $2,000 a month starting in August. And that should cover all of my bills, but it will be very much month to month until I can get my clientele up. So yeah, come with me on this journey if you want. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm free to answer anything. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. See you later.